You know, well, we know he has one. We know he must have a purpose. We know he must have an agenda and a plan. And his story is the story. And what I want us to leave here tonight knowing more than anything else is that God is inviting us into his story. He's letting us in on his story and letting us be a part of his story. We will not play a role in his story as powerful as the role his son played in his story. He played the ultimate role in the story of God. But we have a role to play in God's story, in playing our role in God's story is God's will for our life. And so the question then rolls quickly after that, well, I don't know what my role is in God's story. Well, it's going to be easy as we start looking at God's story to see how our hearts line up with where we fit in with God's story, but it works better when we know we've been invited into His story. Then we're always in that sort of reverse equation saying, God, I want to get you into my story. These are, these are the things I'm dealing with. This is how I want you to get involved. This is the pieces I need you to move and change. These are the people I need you to get rid of. These are the people I need you to get in here. This is the ending I'm hoping to have. No, it doesn't look like we're going to this ending. I need you to change endings here. You know, we're always trying to say, God, I need you to get in my story so that my story will end up right. And God's going, look, I already have a story. And what I'm inviting you to is to take your life and to put your life in my story and let your life be about my ending, which I've already decided what it is and already know what it is. It's not a mystery to anybody. And let your life be a part of what my values are. They're not a mystery to anybody. To let your part, life be a part of my agenda, it's clear as, as a bell. And at the end of the day, for us to know, wow, my life has a destiny and a purpose in the story of God. And when we start there, this whole thing